Hey friends, welcome to Power Code Music. In this presentation, we're going to take a look at the Tascam Studio Bridge models, doll mode, and MIDI implementations. Now, if you hear some static or noise in the background, that's because it's raining pretty hard today. I don't have any control over that, but I wanted to bring you this presentation anyway, so please bear with me. The Tascam Studio Bridge is a multi-track recording solution that combines the capabilities of a 24-track standalone recorder and a USB audio interface. It's designed for musicians, producers, and sound engineers, and it offers simple integration between traditional analog recording workflows and modern digital audio workstations, or better known as DAWs. For a complete overview, of the Tascam Studio Bridge, watch my presentation titled Tascam Studio Bridge Complete Overview on this channel. I'm going to try to keep this as simple and straightforward as possible because working with DAWs can get uh, pretty complicated quickly and I just want to show you primarily how the unit works with a DAW and which MIDI functionality is available with it. This is what you're going to need to know if you don't already. However, before we continue, I just want to quickly ask you to please check out my YouTube homepage to view all of my videos carefully organized by subject. Also, if you find you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a great deal. And now back to the presentation. If you happen to own a Tascam Model 12, then you may already be familiar with the unit's DAW control mode, as its functionality is somewhat similar to that of the Studio Bridge's functionality. However, if you don't, then this is how it works. Before invoking DAW control mode on the Studio Bridge, you must first connect the Studio Bridge to a PC. Now use a USB cable with a Type B USB 2.0 connector to one end and a connector that matches the computer USB port on the other end to connect the unit to a USB 2.0 port on the computer. When the USB connection is working, the USB indicator in the screen operations section of the studio bridge will light up. The unit should be connected directly with the computer instead of, a U instead of through a USB hub. Because keep in mind that noise could be picked up if the cable is too long. When connecting with iOS devices, use a cable that is capable of data transmission. This is important. To connect the device to the unit. To connect an iOS device that has a lightning connector, use a lightning to USB camera adapter. Now, to connect an iOS device that has a USB Type-C connector, use a USB-C to USB adapter. Before invoking DAW control mode on the Studio Bridge, the unit must be stopped. On the menu screen, users select DAW controller to open the mode screen. On the mode screen, users will select the mode for the DAW that they want to use. Studio Bridge currently supports nine different DAW software applications. Now these DAW software applications include Live, Pro Tools, Cubase, Cakewalk, Logic, DP, Reaper, Studio One, and Cubasis or Cubasis, however you want to pronounce it. I could never seem to get that right. Users will then press the multi-jog dial and a confirmation message will then appear. After that, users will press the F4 function button or yes button to confirm DAW mode, which opens the DAW controller screen and enables DAW operation. With this, users should be good to go. The following Studio Bridge controls can be used when in DAW control mode to operate the DAW software application. And here's a list on your screen now. The F2 function button or the set button on the DAW controller track screen. 
the F3 function button or the two left arrow buttons on the DAW controller track screen, F4 function button or the two right arrows buttons on the DAW controller track screen, F2 function button or the CYCL control or CICL, excuse me, button on the DAW controller track screen, the F3 function button or the left arrow button on the DAW controller track screen, the F4 function button or the right arrow button on the DAW controller track screen, the multi jog dial, use this for the locate function, the two left arrow buttons, oh, excuse me, the two left arrows button, the two right arrows button, the stop button, the play pause button, the record button, and the record buttons labeled 1 through 24. To exit DAW mode on the studio bridge, users press the F1 function button to, and they'll receive a confirmation message. Pressing the F4 function button will then end DAW control mode on the studio bridge. Keep in mind that if the unit is turned off while in DAW control mode, it will still be in DAW control mode when it's restarted. To use it in ordinary mode and in DAW control mode, you, you would use then the F1 function button. Now all audio sent from the studio bridge to a computer is always an analog output signal. Now, let's take a look at the studio bridge's MIDI implementation DAW control ports chart. Please keep in mind that this is the MIDI implementation when the studio bridge is connected to a DAW, okay? So let's look at the functions and the transmit and recognize. Now under the function column, we have basic channels. Uh, the studio bridge does not transmit or recognize uh, that particular functionality. Moving down to mode, when the power is on, message and altered. Studio Bridge does not have or transmit or recognize that functionality. Next under mode is the note number. The range uh, for the note numbers um, are transmittable and recognizable under two different modes. The first mode is the HUI mode or active sensing mode here and the other is under the Mackie control mode. So it can transmit and recognize note numbers under those two modes only. Remember when we talked about setting the mode, the, the control mode? These are the modes that you can set. Moving on to velocity, the note on mode can, and the note, or should I say the note on mode can be transmitted and recognized under HUI mode, again, active sensing, but note off cannot be under HUI mode. Under the, well, the note on mode under Mackie control mode is transmitted and it's recognized, but the note off under Mackie control mode is not. Next is the aftertouch. The, the studio bridge has no polyphonic or channel uh, transmission, or it, it can't recognize uh, aftertouch at all. Pitch bend. The unit can transmit and recognize, what should I say, the unit can transmit pitch bend, okay, under the Mackie control mode, and this is via fader, okay, but it can't recognize it. Control changes. The unit can transmit and recognize control changes in both the HUI mode and the Mackie control mode under certain circumstances, under HUI mode, the LED switch control, and under the Mackie control mode, under the encoder. It can do that. Next is the program change. So it does not transmit or recognize program changes. The following is system exclusive. The unit can transmit and recognize system exclusive messages in Mackie control mode only. The following are the system common, system real time, and other uh, functionalities. Again, the studio bridge does not transmit or control in any of those uh, specific outlying functionalities. And finally, let's take a look at the studio bridges MIDI implementation chart. 
Keep in mind that this is the MIDI implementation chart when you are not connected to a DAW and you are plugged into the five pin DIN MIDI ports on the back of the unit. Also, let's keep in mind, you know, let's look at and, and keep in mind how we read this is under our notes section, we have one, two, and three at the bottom of the page. One is MTC full message when MIDI timecode is on, two is when MIDI timecode is on, and three is when MIDI clock song position pointer SPP is on. So let's kind of break this down. When we look under the functionality, okay, the only functionality that this unit will transmit at this point is going to be system exclusive, system common and system real-time functionality. Okay. The rest of the functions on this page, it will not transmit or recognize. So let's drill down. Let's look at the system exclusive section. Okay. Well, now with system exclusive, the unit will transmit system exclusive messages. Okay. But it has a little one next to the system exclusive transmit won't recognize it, but it'll transmit it. And so the system exclusive one in our notes says that MTC full message when MIDI timecode is on, then it will transmit system exclusive messages. Okay. So moving on next is system common. Now with the position, all right, it will transmit position, won't recognize it. And it has a little three next to the position. Now the three means when MIDI clock song position pointer is on. Okay. You will get your position. And then under quarter frame, it will transmit quarter frame, but it will not recognize it. Now with quarter frame, it has a two next to it when MIDI time code is on. And the last but not least the transmit, uh, item or should I say functionality that we have is system real time clock. And that has a three that will transmit when MIDI clock system song position pointer SPP is on. Other than that, that is your MIDI implementation functionality for your five pin DI imports. Please keep in mind that firmware updates, uh, come periodically with these units and with those firmware updates, often what you're going to find is they will, you know, in some cases add MIDI functionality. So this is the first version of the unit. You it's kind of kind of bare bones, but don't think that this is going to be, uh, how the unit's going to be during its lifetime. It can change dramatically with new MIDI. Uh, features and functionality in both the just the MIDI five pin DIN functionality and with the DAW MIDI functionality. So when you look at those firmware updates, read the notes carefully to see what they are. For detailed information on how to configure your compatible DAW application to work with the Studio Bridge, download the Studio Bridge DAW Control Owner's Manual. Now that link or should I say the link to that document is on the screen and in the description section below. Well, that's a wrap. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and click the subscribe button on your screen to join our group. We have new videos coming out every seven to 14 days, and we would love to have you join our team. Leave a comment in the comment section and check us out or check the Power Coat Music uh, channel out on Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify. Now, while you're here, please listen to some of the music and check out some of the other videos and playlists because they're designed just for you. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you soon.